Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. On today's video, we celebrate Bratz Giving. Let's get going. I recently had the honor of being contacted by the folks over at Johnsonville Bratz asking if I would help spread the word of National Bratwurst Day. They call it Bratz Giving. And you guys probably already know this, but basically it's the day when Carl the Great Bratz Giver goes out handing out bratwurst to deserving folks. And one of the challenges that they kind of handed out to their fans was to kind of describe through pictures what their idea of the perfect brats giving day would be. And for me, it's all about going outside, firing up the grill, spending quality time with friends and family, and just enjoying everything that outdoor cooking has to offer. And Johnsonville handed me the challenge of coming up with some creative ideas or ways of preparing their brats. We're gonna kick that off with some mustards. Now there are some great off the shelf mustards you can buy that are already prepared, but what I'm doing is taking some regular standard mustards and kicking them up a few notches, and it's going to pair well with the way I'm going to be preparing these brats. And the first sauce is going to be a sweet hot mustard. What I have here is some spicy brown mustard. I'm going to add a little bit of honey, and this is just to taste, I'm not really measuring anything. And I have here some prepared horse radish. Add that in there. And there we go with sauce number one. For sauce number two, I have some just regular old yellow mustard. And this is a reduction of some apple ale. You will be seeing this ale soon. I'm just going to add that in there. We're just going to kind of kick up the humble yellow mustard. And this last preparation is the one I'm really excited about. I have here some old fashioned coarse ground mustard. I'm going to add some crisp bacon bits that I cooked up. And I have here some apple jelly. Get that mixed up. And there we are. All right, I'm going to set these sauces aside. I wanna let those flavors develop and meld together. I'm going to go out in the backyard and fire up the grill. Before I do, I wanna show you the brats we'll be cooking outside. First one is going to be Johnsonville's cheddar cheese and bacon. The next one will be Johnsonville's Buffalo Blue. And we prepared this at a recent cookout. Actually, you saw some of the footage of that cookout. This was a huge hit. These brats were great. Last but definitely not least is their original blend. This is Johnsonville's original brat. So I'm gonna fire up the grill, meet you in the patio. All right, my inspiration for this was that traditional simmering the brats in beer and onion. But instead of beer, we're using a hard apple ale. And then we're also using onions along with some spiralized apple. So it's going to be really, really good. Kick this off with some butter. I have a whole stick of butter here in the hot tub. Okay, my butter is melted. Now I'm going to add some chopped onion here, some sliced onion. I'm going to cook this until it becomes somewhat translucent. Onions are coming along great. Now what I have here is some spiralized apple. These are Granny Smith apples. Apples are beginning to soften up. Now what I have here is that hard apple ale. I'm going to add two bottles of this. Now a little bit of coarse ground kosher salt to taste. Some crushed red dried peppers to taste. We'll bring this up to a nice boil, then we'll start simmering those brats. Boiling away nicely, let's add those brats. We'll start out with the original. All right, we are going to allow this to come back up to temp. Those brats cool down this liquid here. And then I'm just going to make sure I keep turning them so they evenly cook. All right, so these have been simmering away now, 10, 15 minutes or so, and we are going to finish these off on the hot grill. Get some nice marks on there and kind of caramelize the skin a little bit. This side, I'm gonna hit some oil in there. I'm going to caramelize up this apple and onion mixture. All right, let's build these bad boys here. I'll add some of the mustard mixtures. First one I'm going with that, and that coarse ground mustard with the apple and bacon. Next one will be that sweet hot mustard. And then the yellow mustard with the apple ale reduction. Some of the caramelized onion with the apple mixture. There we go. Let's give one of these a try.
Mm. I mean, this is the brat that I was hoping I was going to get. I kind of have this little grab bag of brats going on right now, but this is that apple cheddar brat. Think about it. I have that coarse ground mustard with that apple jelly, the bacon bits, then combined in here with the caramelized onion. I've got that kind of caramelized, spiralized apple, and then that cheddar coming through. I mean, it, it's just a perfect bite, you know, with that nice porky sausage flavor mixing in with everything. Very savory. Just very, very, very good, good sandwich here. Perfect bite. Anyway, guys, thanks again for stopping by. Johnsonville, thank you for this opportunity. This was a lot of fun. I dug it. This was great. Guys, check out the links I have down below. Check out Johnsonville's Facebook. Post some pictures of you cooking out with the family with some Johnsonville brats. I think they'd appreciate that. And it's, it's fun. It's fun sharing your pics. Anyway, until the next video, have a happy Bratsgiving. Cheers. <laughs>